Welcome to Practicing Photography. My name is Doug Gabbard. What we're going to work on today is something called calling, or going through your photos that you just done on a photo shoot. We're going to reduce it down to just the ones you want to keep, throw away the ones that are garbage, so to speak. I had a, fall, a, a small photo shoot yesterday uh, at the Peak Moon. Not the best photos, but uh, I'll use this for my calling uh, for this video. And uh, let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've already imported my photos to Lightroom. You can all do similar things with File Explorer. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of some distractions. You notice I have no email or nothing else to distract me. So I just want to focus on this. Now, what, what works well for me is to put on some music if I have a large photo shoot to go through. And just enjoy the music while I go through them. I do this rather quickly, but there's a couple things I do to, to find out what I want to keep and not keep. So the first thing I do is go through and just throw away the ones that are trash, the ones that are useless. So right now I'm in what's called grid view, and you can see that down at the icons down below. I'm in grid view. I can either click on this or I can double click on this to get the full view of that photo. And what I'm looking for first is just trash. And I'm going to use the right arrow key and just go to the next photo, each one, until I find stuff that is just totally unusable. And I should have a few. That one there is pretty blurry, and I don't like it, so I'm going to get, put an X on it, which it sets it as rejected. And that's great. That one's blown out, but I was going for the reflection. So let's just keep going through these. That one's really blown out too much. Get rid of that. That one's overblown. You can't even see the details on the moon, so we'll reject. And the reflection might be useful. So tell them what that one is. That one, not very useful. So keep going. I'm rejecting the ones that I do not like. That one's just overblown. Way overblown. And I may throw away more of these. But for now, these are photos I just don't want to see again. Ever. So these are pretty bad. That one did not get what I wanted. So that one's overblown. It's starting to get better. Yeah, we'll get rid of that one. This one, I actually do a photo stack. That, very tiny, tiny sliver of a moon here is actually in a window reflection. But it was right here. It was way too light to be able to get the get them both. And that's my edited version. I already worked on that one a little bit, so we'll leave that alone. Nothing good or bad about that one, just keeping it. That one's a little bit overblown. Nothing there. These are not very good photos on these. A lot of cleanup. Typically, I only have a handful to throw away this time. Quite a few. Moonshots are not easy, as you could probably gather from this. This one I photo stack, but that one's out of focus. Keep that. Keep that for the bottom. That's overblown. Overblown. Again, again. That one I kept. Kept. And there's my Photoshop work on that one. Useless was just playing with some motion. And I was playing here mostly, just not getting anything useful. Now, what's good here is I marked a lot for deletion. I can hit Control Backspace, or I can click on Photo and delete rejected photos. And I'll use Delete from Disk which will actually delete them from Lightroom and the disk, and they are gone forever. So we went from 101 down to 58 photos. So we deleted 44 photos. Now let's go through them and look at ones we want to keep. This one looks like there's a double shadow on that one, so I don't like that one. So looking closer at you know, keepers. You know, so I'm just going to use the letter P in Lightroom to flag it as a pick. That one I could probably mess with the... Uh, so there, I can adjust it in Lightroom a little bit. Oh, 
I'll keep one of these, that one. And I'm not throwing any of these away. Just picking the ones I want to work with later. I'll keep that one. And one of these I liked. Ooh, mark that as a pick. I was just trying to center the light. There's the one that's centered on the light. I'll give that a pick because that gives me my moonshot that I was looking for. And we'll go ahead and pick the one I edited. And we'll need to pick that one. And I think I used this one. So that gives me the chimney and the moon. It turned out to be this one right there. Now we can filter on just the ones I picked by clicking on the filter icon for the flag. I always have to click it twice. Uh, now we're down to 12 photos. Ideally, I like to get down to between 5 and 10. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark them with a 1, 2, or 3, um, up to 5. So we'll mark this one as a 1, because right now we're just looking at ones I want to work on again. So that one looks better than the other one. I wanted to keep that one by itself. That's good. That one I can zoom in a little bit and crop it. And we'll give that one a 1 because I liked it. And the same thing with this one. Now let's add this filter. Now we're down to seven photos. Like I said, like between five and ten, so we're pretty much there uh, for what we want to call. And that's the gist of how I get from over 100 photos to under 10. Next week, what we'll be working on is how I store my files, how I back them up, and how I use a cloud service to uh, make sure I never lose anything. So if you learned anything on this video, please click the like button below and hit the subscribe, and I'll see you next week.